In Critical Strike, the Mushroom class is widely known for being very, very annoying. So, in today's video, we're going to take a dive right into this class to see just how annoying it is. Let's get right into it. Truth. Hello and welcome. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Mushroom class in Roblox Critical Strike. But before we get started, I would just like to throw out a humongous thanks for the massive support that we have been getting on the channel lately. When, or if, we get to 1,500 subscribers, I will be doing a large Robux giveaway, so stay tuned for that in the future. Anyways, back to the video. Arguably one of the most annoying classes in Critical Strike, the Mushroom specializes in Chip Damage AOE, or Area of Effect Damage. In order to actually do any damage at all, the Mushroom relies entirely on getting stacks of Toxic, which can be given to Mushroom's opponents via the literal Mushroom that it throws out from or through the LMB. Speaking of Mushrooms coming from Mushrooms, let's start by talking about Mushroom's E-Move, which literally throws out a Mushroom that spawns spores which can infect opponents, giving them one stack of Toxic each. This move isn't technically overpowered, since it only serves as a vessel by which to give opponents toxic, but it can definitely open the gateway for seriously huge damage. Of course, I didn't forget about Mushroom's LMB, which is basically the E-move, but faster, and it comes right from your hand. Now moving on from the very lackluster LMB, let's talk about the Mushroom's Q-move. This one is actually quite unique for Mushroom, since it not only gives a significant speed boost with haste, but when an opponent has at least one stack of Toxic, Mushroom will heal based on that stack. It's an excellent move that makes Mushroom's 80 health feel a lot like 100. One thing to note though is that if you do heal using this move, i.e. your opponent has Toxic and you use the move and you heal from it, then you don't get the haste status effect, which really sucks. But now what? let's hop on over to the move that gives Mushroom its reputation. The F move. Now, this move is literally overpowered, okay? No matter which way you put it, no matter which way you say it, it's overpowered. It not only puts opponents to sleep for a considerable amount of time, it also does damage based on the level of toxic stack that your opponent has. More specifically, the damage is toxic stack level times 4. So, if you give someone a toxic stack of 4, then they would take 16 damage. 4 times 4 is 16. I'm sure you can see how this scales up to do even bigger damage. Oh, uh, well look at that! We're already through all of Mushroom's moves! I was actually planning to record and edit a little montage here, but then I realized that Mushroom is so bad at chasing people that a montage simply wouldn't be possible. So, instead, let's sum up Mushroom and decide if you should even use it at all. Overall, the Mushroom class is pretty dang good. It requires a very different playstyle to any class in the entire game, but if you can master this playstyle, then you're basically golden. Oh, and what is that playstyle? Well, it's camping. And I know, disappointing and sad, but Mushroom's playstyle is literally just camping in a single spot and hoping people will try to fight you. If you try to chase people with Mushroom, you end up without any real way to do damage since Mushroom relies very, very heavily on its E-move to give opponents stacks of Toxic. And, to be honest, because Mushroom is so slow and because it takes a while to get stacks of Toxic, Mushroom is less of a good class and more a pain in the butt. Anyways, I do think that is enough toxicity for one YouTube video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this Critical Strike video and want to see more, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to use code SHOTUS at reddragonshop.com. Have a great day. Bye-bye.